All right, in today's video, we're gonna do a quick video today talking about POEs, passive POEs, those things. It's all coming up. All right, maybe you've just now finally updated one of your switches to a true uh, 802.3 switch that uh, don't allow you the uh, 24 volt passive any longer because I found myself in a situation just like that. We upgraded our uh, Unify switch, 48 port uh, switch that had the option, it was the first gen, so the first gen allowed you the 24 volt passive and the 48 volt 802.3, uh, which was really, really nice. So when I got the gen two, I was surprised that it no longer offered the 24 volt passive. And you might be thinking, well, gee, Otis, uh, everything's kind of advanced today. Nothing's 24 volt any longer. And it's like, yeah, well, I still got some of the old equipment that that is 24 volt passive. And I found myself, you know, going back looking for bricks like this here, little, little bricks, <laughs> you know, to power it up where you got a power supply going to it, a, a regular 120 volt going to it. And then of course your regular POE 24 volt works fine. Works great. There's nothing wrong with something like this, but the problem is, is yeah, then you got another power, you got to plug it in and try to find some place in the rack to, to put this guy in. I came across this INS 3AFIG. It's just a, basically a converter. It takes uh, your 24 volt, POE, uh, maybe a, a microwave, maybe a nano beam, an older nano beam, maybe a camera, G3 camera, and you plug it in on this side right here. And then on the other side, this is where it goes into your switch and it's the 802.3, 48 volt plugs in on this side. What it does just reduces the power down to 24 volt and uh, your equipment powers up and this just lays in line at the back of your switch. So it's indoor, it's not outdoor. So you just put this on the back of your switch and that's pretty much it. And you don't have to have, you know, this guy right here taking up all of your valuable space. This guy just lays in the back and it works out really, really good. So if you're looking for something uh, like this on maybe some of that old uh, camera gear that you got and maybe a microwave that you have an old microwave because if you're like me you don't want to go out and buy new equipment just because the power requirements changed this right here um, it's a lifesaver all right before i show you how this thing works hey uh like and subscribe to our channel we'd appreciate that so so very much that's the way our channel grows and also if you have a good comment if you have a not so good comment that's okay as well go ahead and leave it below all right, our brick. Let's talk about our brick first. Again, it works fine. This is a 24 volt uh, passive PoE. It powers our microwave okay. It does, there's, there's no problem there. But again, as you can see, you, know, you got power, you got to plug it in. When you plug it in, you're, you're going to take up more of your power strip here. And, and right now, I don't know, you know how yours is, but you know, ours is pretty taxed. It's pretty full. We only got a couple of them left over. So I don't really want to take up valuable real estate when it comes to my power. So I don't really want to use the brick. Um, this right here, absolutely perfect. Because uh, as you can see here, this is your 802.3, your POE in. This comes from your switch to here. And then out goes to your camera or goes to your uh, whatever you got it may be one of the nano beams or something like that and that's actually what i got and it gives you the 24 volt out so again it just takes the 48 volts in 24 out pretty simple with that plugs right in line on your switch so here you go we've got our power beam right here plug it in voila it's that simple I know we waited till dark so you could see that little light up there, but I bet it's just blurry as can be, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's blurry. Good as we can do it. Plug this in, it'll shoot fire.